Firstly, what you're going to do is go to configuration tab and then go to CPU firstly and make sure that the SPU decoder is set to recompiler LLVM and the PPU decoder is set to recompiler LLVM2 and for the SPU block size you're just going to put it to safe and preferred SPU threads should be set to 2 and also make sure that under the additional settings you just tick the enable SPU loop detection okay that's all for the CPU let's go to GPU now I'm just gonna click the apply firstly and let's go to GPU and for the renderer you just gonna keep it to Balkan or OpenGL you can try one at a time and which one works best for you you can keep it to that okay and under the graphics device you just gonna put it to Intel USD graphics that is the graphics that is pre-installed on your PC and you can change the aspect ratio if you like also you can change the default resolution if you like to change it I'm just gonna keep it to 1280 into 720 and for the shader mode you just gonna keep it to a sync with shader interpreter and under the number of shader compiler threads you just gonna keep it to 2 and under the additional settings you can tick this P sync okay now let's go to the audio section and you don't need to do anything here just put this audio buffer duration to 150 ms okay and for the IO that is input output you can configure yourself and for the system also you can change these settings if you want okay let's go to network also you don't need to do anything here let's go to emulator firstly I'm gonna come back to advanced tab later and under this tab you just gonna go down here and change this maximum LLVM compile threads to 3 okay that's all here and for the GUI there's no such settings that you need okay let's go to advanced tab that I left earlier so the settings that I'm going to do under the advanced tab might cause crashes in some games but it makes most of the games very much playable so let's do the settings in this tab also for the maximum number of SPUR threads you can keep it to 3 firstly originally and if the game is still lags then you're just gonna increase one at a time until the game is stable so you're just gonna keep it to 3 firstly and then tweak this I mean increase this by one until the game runs smoothly okay these all are the base settings for RPCS3 and it will make your games run very smoothly I believe that okay just gonna firstly apply and then I'm gonna click on the save